There is a new shopping experience at Uncommons that encourages you to drink a glass while you browse. And Richard Camarada is here to tell us about Wino, a new kind of wine store that explores many different offerings from producers around the world. Thanks Hi, for having me. Hi, welcome. Excited to be here. Thank this you. This is very We're exciting. Very excited, You're yeah. talking two of our favorite things. Yeah. <laughs> Food yeah, and sure. alcohol. So give us a little uh, overview of what Wino is all about. So we started Wino about a month ago. It was kind of a vision we've had for many years. We wanted to create a better wine buying experience in Las Vegas uh, and also a great place to go enjoy wine. So it's a great wine bar. We have about 250 selections available, uh, 18 wines by the glass as well. And then we have an awesome menu as well of charcuterie, cheeses, oysters, uh, sandwiches, uh, a variety of like fun little stuff, caviar. So if you're going to have some champagne, why not have a little caviar? Uh, so yeah, it's really kind of a fun little experience. You, you need to hit all the different areas and different, uh, you know, taste buds and flavors that people like from, from cabs to, to Pinot Noirs to Beaujolais, you know. What inspired the collection what, and what inspired that, that vision for something completely different? Was it a personal experience that, one of, you know, that you've had sure. going into a store? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we come from the restaurant world and so we wanted to bring a restaurant wine list to a local community uh, at a really uh, reasonable price as well. That's a big part of it is for us. Uh, everything you can buy at the store, you can take home retail and it's 25% off the list price. Uh, and so that was something that we were excited about. You guys have an awesome uh, uh, Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Columbia Valley in Washington. Mm, yeah. So, you know, it's a fun little experiment, right? You can smell. What do you kind of get on there? I love Sauvignon Blancs. Yeah. So it's like you knew me. You knew me going I was, into I was, this. I got some tips. <laughs> I got Fresh some tips. Fruity. Well, you yeah. touched a little bit on the food menu. So let's kind of dive into that because this is an incredible spread here. And I think it just adds to the whole sampling experience of wine, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, nothing better than a little bite to enhance your experience. It brings out the flavors. Uh, but for us, you know, we wanted to go a little bit beyond just the typical wine bar. There's uh, amazing producers here. We source a really great products from prosciuttos to cheeses, uh, smoked salmons, oysters, like I mentioned before. So we really focus on finding really cool products and then you can buy a variety of these things for, to take home. So it's one of those spots where if it's Friday night and you're coming home from work and you said, oh shoot, I got to grab some Stuff. You can stop in, grab a couple awesome cheeses, a couple of awesome uh, products, and take up a couple of bottles of wine, and you have a great night out. It, it seems to me like it's it's more of a it's more of an experience rather than just a store to go and pick up some wine. One hundred. You, you guys are going to be doing tastings. We do. Um, you're going to educate people, and not in terms of like you, know, you need to learn about this, but you yeah. know this might might pair well with your dinner tonight, or this you know if you like this, then maybe try a wine like this. Exactly. We want it to be fun at the end of the day, and and no, it is a it's a great experience. Our staff is there to really help you uh, find new things. At the end of the day, if you already like Sauvignon Blancs and you want to find a new one, we can do that. So we really want it to be a place where you come in, you make a relationship with our staff and you can taste cool things. And, and then if, if you want to stay and have a few bites, then you can do that as well. Now, a lot of love goes into putting on a new venue. So what has been the most exciting and rewarding part of this whole process? Uh, opening is always fun. I feel like it's amnesia. Sometimes you're like, oh, did I do this again? But we're going to. Uh, but it's been a great time. I mean, just bringing in, I think the, the most uh, rewarding experience was that first day when we got to bring in all the wine. We got about, I don't know, 1,500 bottles of wine that we brought in that first day and putting them all up on the shelves and seeing it finally uh, put together was a really fun experience. And so it's a beautiful space. We have this beautiful wine wall up there. You walk in, you just kind of see it and it really pops and it really gets you excited about trying to taste something new. We, we, we talked about this being more than just a store, it's more of an experience. So, so what other kind of things will you have from month to month that, that people, you know, viewers at home can come in and enjoy while they're in there? So we would do a lot of tastings inside the stores well but we also offer a wine club that you can sign up for online and so you can pick up two bottles a month uh, that's our explorer collection uh, and then we also have a uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me the collector uh, set up which is six bottles ex every quarter and that's a little bit more of an uh, exclusive experience some pretty cool stuff that we'll bring in for you but the explorer is a really nice way to just uh, introduction to some new product. Every month we have uh, two new bottles there's a fun little write-up on about them and then it's on the website as a little blog as well. And you're really opening this up even to, let's say, like new wine uh, drinkers, if they're new to it and they're trying to figure out which ones they like. And, yeah. and that's kind of part of the whole process, right? Exactly. And I mean, we want this to be a place where you can come in, you can come in with your friends and have a great little uh, Thursday night if you're looking for that. But we'll also be able to bring in some really special allocated uh, collections. So if you are somebody who already knows exactly what you want, but maybe you've had a hard time finding it, we're here to help and we can bring in some really amazing product for you. Yeah, I think that exclusivity to what wine used to have 
others is kind of like a, you, you know, like you can only enjoy it if, if you drink a certain bottle of this place. No. That's kind right. of disappeared now. No. And it is a more enjoyable experience for, for everyone. Yeah, wine's meant to be something that you celebrate with or, or even uh, maybe some other reasons as well. But at the end of the day, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really there to be enjoyed. And, and there's a variety of reasons to do that. It's and very what's exciting. maybe some of your go-tos? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love champagne. If you're a little go in my fridge right now, there's probably a few bottles. So, I mean, uh, I brought a beautiful uh, version of that. We have a really cool uh, tasting. Actually, that's going to be next Monday. We have a really cool producer who's going to be in town. And so uh, there's going to be a tasting at the uh, store. All right. Wonderful. Well, Jessica and I I'm are desperate ready. to wait. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to send you guys over to the website. If you want to plan a trip and for more information, head to winolv.com. And we'll be right back after uh, maybe a little drink and something to eat. <laughs> Sounds great.